in that hour of need when I was so lost, so lonely. You came to me. What's up, everyone? This is Monty from Daisy NYC. Today we're here at the Union Square Park in New York City. The beautiful month of Ramadan is upon us. Let's talk to people and find out their knowledge or lack thereof of Ramadan. Do you guys know what Ramadan is and what's the importance of it? Um, I don't know exactly when it starts. I knew it started, I think, like two weeks ago or so, right? A few days ago. Because yes. um, I'm currently with somebody who's like Muslim and stuff, and she told me that they have to eat, I think, at midnight or something, or like before sunset or after sunset. I don't You're really know. You're almost there. You're getting warmer. Yeah, do, yeah, yeah. do you know anything? <laughs> I've heard of it, but I never, I don't know any specifics. Okay. Okay. Do you guys know what Ramadan is? Yeah. Tell me about it. I don't, I mean, I know it's a holiday. Okay. That's, that's about the extent of it. All right, and yourself? Same as him. Do you know what Ramadan is? And can you tell us a little about it? Oh God, I, isn't it like a, it's a holiday. It's a holiday. In some culture. Warmer, <laughs> which culture? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. I know it's a holiday and it's either Jewish or Muslim, I'm not too sure. Do you know what Ramadan is and what it, its importance is? Oh wow. Uh, well, <laughs> you guys fast, right? Yes. Okay, close enough, you're getting warmer, what else? You guys definitely fast and it's a religion. I do not completely know what Ramadan is. Uh, I do have a lot of clients um, that actively practice. I know it's the ninth month in the calendar year okay. and it's a time of atonement, fasting, uh, abstaining from a lot of the things that we probably shouldn't be doing here. Okay. Um, I know it lasts from sunrise to sunset. Very impressive. Uh, but just along those lines. What is Ramadan? It is the celebration, well not really celebration, but a fast. I think it's in mm -hmm. summer, typically. And right now it's ongoing. Right now, yes. okay. And so you can't eat all day until sun the sun down. goes down. So I'll tell you a little about it. It's, okay. it's, it's a Muslim holiday, okay. which is going ongoing right now. For 30 days, that's from dusk to dawn. Mm. Pretty much around, around the time when the sun comes out and when it, you know, when it sets, you're not supposed to drink, eat, smoke, have any intimate activities, or lie, or cheat, or all those sinful things. Mm -hmm. So you're not eating or drinking primarily for one month, which is from sunrise to sunset, dusk to dawn. What do you have to say about that? That's insane, a little bit insane. Um, I don't know how you guys do that. What do you think about this 30 days from sunrise to sunset, no eating, drinking, having sex, smoking, all that stuff. How do you feel about that? I think it's a really great cleanse and probably it makes you more spiritually aware of things and I think it's pretty cool. Do you think any of you guys could do that? How, how, yeah? I think I could. Um, I tried Ramadan last year for like three days. Okay. I couldn't handle it because I eat a lot and right. I'm not used to the religion. I tried it for my friends mostly, but I think I could handle it for 30 days. All right, yeah. maybe next year then? Yeah, sure. oh, that would be something I would like to experience, so yeah. So I don't know, I mean, if you're with a Muslim girl, then how, how, how does that work out? Talk to me about that. I mean, for me, it's more like, personally, I'm not very religious, okay. so, but I don't like have prejudice towards people that have a certain like religious view, so if that's her view, I'm not gonna judge it. And okay. I, I kind of think it's enlightening because she told me that they also do it so they can kind of feel how it feels to be poor. Absolutely. Or like to be able to like, you know, feel empathy towards people mm -hmm. who have less than them. So I kind of admire the fact that people do that because it's something that, you know, you're getting knowledge about something that you probably don't know about. And All then right. when you see somebody in the streets, you can actually understand their situation. That's great. So, so, so dear Robert's Muslim girl, I think this is a good guy. You stay with him and you know, fast together and then celebrate together. Ramadan moy jour bo xamanteni no wer bo xamanteni si ngay dem pour gissi yalla quoi nga def lu bax lepp lu bolé nga nan def dang kay jaar def ko si lu bax Can you translate a little bit of that for us? I say Ramadan is for the months so you can get to know God really know God so you can change like any bad thing you do you can you can do a good thing The holy month for all Muslims in which they're fasting for 30 days and it's it's basically a month of purity and you know you're supposed to stay away from all the bad lying Absolutely. and all that and then in the end they have a huge celebration which is called Eid. How, how does how is it different uh, celebrating Eid here otherwise back in Pakistan where you're from? Well in Pakistan it's more lively mm -hmm. the streets are crowded it's more rushed and you know the lighting's crazy over there but over here, the Muslim community is really big now. Mm -hmm. So we're having similar events over here as well. Absolutely. Yeah. What's one thing that you love about the whole season of Ramadan and then Eid? Yeah, it's just the unity. Everyone is united. The families are just so happy. And, you know, everyone is ready to eat. And it's like a big feast every day. 
I'm just loving the energy here. Just, just, I'm finally met someone who's from Pakistan or from uh, a, a country that follows the religion and, and fast. Yeah, so big yeah. up to you and to your family. Thank you so much. Can I shake your hand in Ramadan? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Ramadan Mubarak. You came to me and that I were of me when I was so lost, so lonely. You came to me, took my breath away, showed me the right way. Way too deep, you filled my heart with love, showed me the love.